this is our attempt of saying, let's get the colleagues from the justice, security, and cluster system to come and engage with the members of the media. We also affording the members of the media an opportunity to engage with the experts. And I think you will realize we've invited the top of the top of experts in fighting crime and corruption. And we are hoping the discussion as it will unfold today, it will enable us to find each other of the other side of what public servants do. Because I don't think the public servants want to be pitched the manner they are pitched, that we are soft on crime, we are soft on corruption. We've inv invited the very experts who are involved in those investigations. We've invited the experts who are involved in taking some of the cases to court. We've invited the experts who will share with you what goes on behind the scenes. And I think we are hoping as we finish today, you will have a better appreciation. We don't say believe us, but we are saying we hope that at the end of this dialogue, you will have a better appreciation of what is it that we, we do in fighting crime and corruption. We give this information through to media houses. But if it's not sensational, if it's not a high-ranking official, obviously it will not come into the public space. And the sad reality is we get assessed not on our results and not what it is that we actually do. We get assessed on what the media says about us. It's at best information at this stage that the hawks through the investigation have to make sure that it's converted into court-directed evidence. So it's not always the case that whatever has been presented out there in the space is ready, readily available to be placed before the court. And that is precisely what my co colleague is trying to say, is that it is going to take time. And the most important thing for us is to protect the integrity of the process. The journalists would like to see or just at least understand is that there be consistency. So if we can't comment on any cases that are currently in court, then let's not comment on any cases that are currently in court and not comment on some of the cases. Government should commit money, should buy time. Cannot depend on editors to give them time. That's why they give them 30 seconds out of the hour. Because they are hoping, they are at the mercy of the editors. But if you buy time, it's your time, you can f give information that you want communicated in that slot that you've bought. I think what becomes important is to understand the complexity around these matters and uh, that they are also multifaceted. Uh, they involve a lot of uh, assessment, analysis, uh, verification and follow-throughs that has to be uh, done on those uh, matters. It's very, very important to bridge the gap, to bridge this gap between uh, ourselves as government and the media. So if we create that, and this is one of those you know, platforms which we can use and really understand. As law enforcement agencies, we are creatures of statute. Um, so clearly these, these kinds of engagements are always welcome. This is a message I'm getting from just your presence here. And I, I commit, on, and on behalf of the DG, on behalf of GCIS, that we will do more of these. So I really uh, 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 commit here today that we will have more of these, and we, we want to make sure that you understand what goes behind the scenes, as well as sharing with all of you the successes, because it's really dis it, it's, it's, it's discouraging when you're hearing people talking about how law enforcement is not working in South Africa, when everybody, every single day, they wake up and, and do their, their best to make sure that justice works in South Africa.